Good afternoon, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me once again for our regular Thursday update on what's happening in this amazing business. So um, today, I really want to concentrate on five key points um, that we are uh, resolving or we're creating in March, and every single one of them are on track. But before we get into that and talk about what's happening in the business, the reason um, I've got Lauren Hardy in the background there is to remind me of the next big meeting happening in the Viva MK network. Of course, the big one, as they call it, on the 24th of March at the Hilton Hotel, Junction 24 of the M1. Um, and it's, of course, Ram Lang and Andy Buxton, as you can see them perfectly portrayed behind with fantastic set of speakers. We've got Jennifer Amos, Tim Pace, Jeff Owen, and the fantastic Mike and Amanda Baby. If you can make that meeting, please do try and go. It's motivating, it's inspiration, it's what this business is all about. Getting people together, connecting, talking about the business, and really accepting that we are one big family trying to create this amazing business. So go on to www.bigone.space to get your tickets. And as you know, Lauren Hardy, Ram and Andy will put on another fantastic meeting, especially with such an incredible set of speakers. So in a moment, I'll talk about the five key points that are, we are resolving and creating in March and all of them are on track. But before that, and you may have seen the post, you know, a great pleasure to go down to Older Hay Children's Hospital and give your um, donation from the showcase, along with uh, five huge boxes of pajama suits. Um, we are going to be supporting Older Hay Children's Hospital in the future too. So we'll do that at every event that we do. It's a fantastic organization, of course. If you know anything about it, or if you don't, do look it up. It's a, it's a charity that we will be supporting in the meantime. And it was just wonderful to give your donation, tell them about Viva MK, I got lost, of course, went to the wrong hospital altogether, but that is a different subject altogether. Um, but it was great to explain them to the business. And then when I said to this lady, I'm going to bring you some pajamas, I don't know she really knew what I meant. I thought she, I think she thought I was getting her a set of pajamas, which sounded really unusual conversation. And then I roll in with these five huge boxes. And it was wonderful because she said, we've never had a donation like that before. And, you know, it was very really heartwarming because she said many children and some parents who stay with children come um, without such things. So it'd be great to hand those out. So Viva MK, you know, there'll be children and parents at Older Hay and it's so heartwarming wearing Christmas fam jams all year round. What a fantastic thing to be able to do. If anybody would have said this to me a year ago, that I'd go to Older Hay Children's Hospital with a donation from the network, plus um, five huge boxes full of pajama suits, insult the woman there and make her think I'm exceptionally creepy, but then hand over these amazing sets of clothes um, in this heartwarming situation, I would not have believed you that that was going to happen. You see, things happen and things change and things constantly evolve. And I've been talking about evolution um, all year so far, that things are evolving and they'll continue to evolve. And we need to continue to keep adapting to not only creating more of a market, but creating a new market. And I talked, that, I talked about that at the showcase too. So in March... Um, there's five key things that we really need to do and get right. Number one, the basics fly, and I'll talk about that in a moment. That's on track. Number two, the car incentive, which I told you would be out in March. Um, number three, the new back office with new ordering site and new facilities and better usability than before. That's on track too. Number four, the showcase and dinner. Oh, did I say dinner? Oh, I must have forgot to mention that before, but you'll find out more about that throughout March as well. And of course, number five, the outdoor catalogue, which is still scheduled for April. Five things that I want to just cover very briefly today so you know that we are perfectly on track with all of them. So first, the basic flyer. 
totally born of your feedback to what your customers want. You know, like I said last week, you, you give people what they want and then you create a set of products that they didn't know they needed. And if you can do both, then you are winning in business. So the basics flyer really is purely on your feedback, on what you think your customers want. We can't give them everything, of course, but we can give them a lot of things that you have been asking for. So that's what the basics flyer is going to be about. And I've got some more pages of it. And just to put you in the picture, that should be in next week. So I'll give you more information as to when it'll go free in every order that we get. But that's scheduled for next week. Like I said, there's a bunch of things happening in March and they're all on track. Um, so that will be next week. So I showed you the front cover last week, of course. Again, very uh, brash colors, uh, 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 obvious product, not much writing, but really a visual effect. And We've tried to keep the inside very much the same, just spread it with products that people genuinely do want in the hope that they'll buy those and then look at all the other catalogs as well to buy some more things. So, you know, here's a typical page from the basics um, flyer and that's, it pay more attention to the spread of it and, and the colours and the kind of really basic look of it. So people go in, they see what they want. There's not much in the form of descriptions because I don't think these things need descriptions. They're self-explanatory. Even the cedar balls, you know, these things are self-explanatory. But that gives you an idea of the layout, um, you know, keeping it basic, basic products, colourful, um, and things that your customers want. Now, this is evolution. You know, it, it's, as I said, constantly, we are evolving the business on your feedback and, of course, what everybody else is saying and on, on our own experience as well. Just remember this, we can't always ask for absolutely everybody's advice. I know people keep saying you should ask more and more advice, but, you know, I used to have this MD years ago and the only useful thing this MD ever said was, look, before we started in the catalog business, if you went and knocked on a thousand doors and said, would you like uh, a stranger to come to your door and drop a catalog? Most people would have said no. My point is, and his point was, you can't ask advice for everything. Sometimes you have to go ahead and make decisions. And that's what I guess we're here for, the team are here for, that we make those decisions with, of course, some guidance. Like this was all about guidance from you guys. You know, you said people wanted basics so we've gone and created that so that's the first thing basics, basics catalog and it is firmly on track and it should be arriving next week um, so I've got some products from there. I don't know why I have to show you these products, but I think as per usual, I get them um, stitched up and I have to try and work out what that is. I do believe from my little bit of research that it is a bra extender. I do believe that's a bra extender. It comes in three colors um, and you can, as, as you can imagine, why the team have given me this to demonstrate because they know I do it so well. So that's the bright center, things like that. Those are basic products apparently. And then things like this, this is a silicon iron rest. You know, it, it, it may not be the most sexiest product in the world, However, it's a product that people want. And we can't always be all about sex. I mean, sexy products. You have sexy products, give people what they think they want and give them this desire to have them and then give them basic products. Again, like this. Um, I'm not entirely convinced I know what that is, but it's something to do with plug holes. Um, so again, people want things like this. Um, and then we have these. Uh, no, I'm not going to demonstrate them. They are shoe covers. Um, which I think, I think you put them on and you walk around on your laminated floors, potentially wearing fan jams and actually cleaning the floor. I do believe that's what they're for. But again, basic products. Um, then there's a hu huge new range of brash looking um cleaning products as well in the new Mrs. Huckleberry range. There's a multi-purpose disinfectant um, and it looks like that. Um, there's a new version of directive floor cleaner and it looks like that. And there's an antibacterial washing up liquid, which looks like that. Again, you know, yes, we've had the products before, but sometimes when you change the image, it can have a huge effect. Um, and then there's this, the silicon egg boil. 
make your favorite delicious egg dishes. Uh, again, you know, a product that is um, going to sell. Um, obviously, I'm really demonstrating this very well, but a product that is going to sell and it's in the new basic catalogue and apparently what people have been asking for. So there you go, silicon egg boils. Just a demonstration of the kind of products that, that, that the basics flyer catalogue are going to have in it. So secondly, the car incentive. Oh, by the way, like I said, that's 50 free in every order as soon as it comes in and it's scheduled to come in next week. It's already gone to print. Um, the car incentive, which I'd said to you, would be with you during March. That's firmly on track. Look, it's the 14th of March today. That gives us about two weeks. That gives us two more live presentations and numerous bunch of emails and a lot of work to do. But I'll tell you, before March is over, all these things will be in your portfolio. Basics flyer, you'll know about the car incentive, the new back office, which has been created as we speak. These things always, always take longer than anticipated. But I will tell you, it will be uh, secure and finished very soon. We're just doing some testing on it now as we speak. So it is already programmed, but there's some aesthetics that we're trying to get right on it but again the whole idea of that is that it goes with the new sales plan it's a new system goes with the sales plan we'll try and introduce it he said nervously with least amount of disruption um, but it'll give you a better user experience than we had before the system that we did have was one that we were almost in a corner to have because our time scales of getting the business up and running were just a matter of days so we had to just jump on board with software companies that could deliver that fast which of course then they didn't but that's kind of all history and every now and again we all have to move on and do something new and evolve so the new back office is on track and i won't give you an exact day this uh, next week that you will see it for the first time, but we're just testing it as we speak. So, you know, it's all about having better usability than the one that you currently have and a better uh, recruitment facility in there, as well as replicated websites. Then there's a showcase and I've already slipped up that there is going to be some form of dinner, but to just try and ignore that I said that for the moment. There's going to be a showcase, of course, um, but on the success of the first one. And not just that, the importance of getting people together. I think our strength was at its best when we were all together. And like I said to you two weeks ago, it firmly and truly felt like home again. It felt like we were all together. There was every face in the room without hardly any exception that was friendly and actually wanted to be there. And the power of that, I don't think you can replicate in any business situation where there's people there volunteering to be there, part of a system and a business and showing strength together. I've done showcases for years and like I keep bleating on about this, uh, the, the, the atmosphere and the experience of that one was phenomenal. So yes, there will be one. And before the end of this month, not only will you have the dates, you'll have the format, you'll even have the theme. Yes, I said a theme. Um, and you'll know all that within the next two weeks. It's the 14th of March today. By the end of March, you'll know all that. Then we come on to the outdoor catalogue, which is already in formulation. The outdoor catalogue is going to have within it, for, for a first exposure, the niche kind of products I talked about, the showcase. You know, don't always just say things for the effect. We said that there'll be some products that we'll put out there that will be niche products that won't have price comparisons that people will look at and think, oh, I, I, I want that. I've not seen that before and that's what I want. So the outdoor catalog will have a first exposure of that as an experiment to see if they work within that catalog or we may even one day take them out of that and create a completely separate brochure. Who knows? We evolve all the time and we continue to evolve and we experiment and we test and we evolve. So the outdoor catalog I've always said is going to be April. I can categorically tell you that is on track for April. At some point, I'll give you a date. So they're the main five things. I mean, there's lots happening in the business, there always is, but they're the main five things that are happening today that I said to you that I would have cleared for March. Um, and so, you know, I just wanted you to know that every single one of those is on track. And by the end of this month, you'll know a lot more about them. 
do try and get to Lauren Hardy's meeting on the 24th of March. It is going to be phenomenal. Sadly, I can't be there. I'm at another event, but it is worth going to. They're great meetings. Um, and I'll regularly talk about meetings that are happening within the network. In a few weeks, I'll talk about the Millionaires in Scotland, which again is another phenomenal meeting. And if you can get to that, you have to get to that. But let's promote one event at a time. And I'll talk about the Scottish Millionaires uh, run by Lynn in the coming weeks. So it has been an incredible week. Of course it has. Every week one has to make it incredible. It was great to go to Older Hay irrespective of the faux pas that I naturally made when I was there. It's great to see the finishing touches going into the basics catalogue and some of the products actually coming in. It's great to see the team working on these and having that inspiration to carry on working with those. It was great to get more details on the showcase coming together. Um, and of course, the, the five things that I'm trying to, and we're trying to conclude, it's great to have all of them firmly on track. You know, no one ever said that any of this was ever going to be easy, um, irrespective of the, the things that happened a year ago, but that is almost a year ago. And as some people have quite rightly pointed out, you know, it, it is going to be a year soon, um, but none of it was ever going to be easy, you know, but that doesn't mean it can't be done. Sometimes the hardest things are the wor most worthwhile. Many of us, including myself, could have taken a much easy route, much easier route, but where's the fun and adventure in that? I feel what we do here, what we do collectively, the team at HQ, myself and you as a collective force, is an adventure that we're on. Um, and like I said, I didn't talk about many of my business plans or goals at the showcase, but the one that I did bleat on about over and over and over again was the fact that by the end of 2019, we want a portfolio that we can offer you where you can rely on this business alone. You know, I've always been candid with you. I wasn't worried about what else people did. It's about freedom, freedom of choice. Again, again in fact, I was always against uh, other people who force people to only do the one thing or were vitriolic when people were doing multiple businesses. I'm not against that. All I'm saying is that we want to create a business which gives you one business to focus on. And that's my goal. And even then, if you didn't, there's going to be no vitriol. You're free to do what you want in the same way you are free to come to the showcase, free to join Viva MK. We are, a, you know, the people's business, like I said, right from the beginning. And if we don't listen to the needs of the people, um, then we're not truly a people's business. And when I talk about needs of the people, of course, like I constantly say, you cannot take every single opinion on, on board because, you know, the majority of things people say can be very contradictory. So you would never know what to focus on. So that's why people like us are in place that you have to sometimes just draw the line and make a decision and go ahead. So that big goal that I talked about at the showcase still stands, okay, it's only 14th of March, um, but the next nine months are crucial in evolving and creating a business where, you know, you will have one to focus on or, you, or you'll have enough in there where you can honestly say to yourself, I'll put all my focus into this. And that's not out of any vitriol, that's not about anything, other than building this brand. And you know, it can take decades to build brands. So what we've done so far with a completely unknown brand, other than a bunch of familiar faces that we all have, what we've done so far in just a handful of months has been phenomenal. Because even if we've got that much brand recognition out there, that's incredible. You know, as I said, it can take decades for brands to be recognized and to be used and to be familiar. So what we've done in such a short period of time is still fantastic, it's unbelievable. It was never the easy choice. It was the hardest thing to do for all of us. But as I said, where's the adventure in taking easy choices? Sometimes you have to take that winding path to get to the glory that you all want. And as I keep saying, and it's still running through my veins, you know, um, the showcase was a perfect example of people 
coming together out of choice on this adventure that we're all on. So those five things are all on track. I'll keep updating you every single week. I always appreciate anybody coming on board and watching and listening to a live update. Make sure you get your tickets for the big one and let's carry on doing what we're doing. Just one final point. Please, like I keep telling you, never hesitate to contact me direct for anything you need to. I know you have some great sponsors out there. I know you have some great uplines who are there to answer all your questions. But never, ever feel that you cannot call me or contact me direct. You have my email address. You've got Messenger. You've got WhatsApp. There's more ways of communicating today than there's ever been. Okay, I may not answer, <laughs> but that's not true. I will answer. It may not always be immediate but I will always return calls and I will always respond to you. The reason that I'm saying that is so important for everybody to understand we are an open book and you can contact me. I'm no different than anybody out there because we're in this together. I owe it all to you and therefore the one thing I can do if possible is always be there when somebody wants something. Um, and that's irrespective of the great appliances and, sh and sponsors you have. We know we have those, but just remember you're free to do that anytime. My email address is mk at vivamk.com. I think most of you know that, and I know I already get hundreds of emails, but that doesn't mean I can't have hundreds more emails. So thank you for listening. It's mid-March. We've got a lot to achieve in this month. We're firmly on track with all of it. If we weren't, you know I'd tell you. Um, so I think March is going to be a phenomenal month for us. So thank you for listening. Thank you for everything. And thank you for being, in my humble opinion, the greatest set of people I've ever known and had the pleasure to work with. Take care and have a great week. Bye.